What's up, y'all, boy? This your boy, Marlo, a.k.a. Marlo Block. And today we're going to be talking about Fort Sumter and how I think the War of 1812 and the Civil War affected the African Americans who stay in Charleston to this day. Fort Sumter is an island fortification located in the Charleston Harbor. It is one of the most famous sites for the first shots that took place in the Civil War. All right, now, when the Civil War popped off, Fort Sumter was the first place where the shots would ring off at. They would send a a 10-pound bomb over Sumter, and it would blow up over Sumter. Over Fort Sumter, you see what I'm saying? And that would kick the war off. And it would be a 33-hour standoff. And where you see them red lines at is where the Confederates would try to invade the Charleston Harbor. And Fort, being that Fort Sumter was right there, it was kind of hard. You see what I'm saying? And Abraham Lincoln had to fall back because the southern states, it was Union, but we ain't had enough soldiers to fight off the Confederates. You see what I'm saying? And more than 750,000 people died in the Civil War. You see what I'm saying? And that's the most deaths in war to this day. With the technology that we have. You feel what I'm saying? So, the Civil War was a very bloody war, man. And being that the Civil War took place only about 160 years ago, that mean our forefathers was in that war. That mean your great, great, great granddad was in that war. You see what I'm saying? Your great, great grandma Watch the war. You see what I'm saying? So, I feel like the Civil War affected the African Americans who stay in Charleston to this day is that the Geechee people is that our forefathers watched the war. Our forefathers was in the war. They were Union soldiers. You see what I'm saying? And the teachings that they learned in the war you know that was passed down through generations. You see what I'm saying? Make your casket smile. Um, come get you the same day. You did something to my peoples. You see what I'm saying? Um, the Civil War. The first shot rang out at 4.30 a.m. in the morning. And to this day in Charleston, that's when shit be going down. 4.30 in the morning, 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning. So, yeah, man, Charleston is still preserved. Our accents are still preserved. So if our accents are still preserved, that mean the mentality from the war is still preserved. You see what I'm saying? So that's just my take, man. That's, that's just my take on how the Civil War affected the Geechee people in Charleston, the African-Americans in Charleston. You see what I'm saying? And that's just some real shit, man. But you know I got that Charleston Savage episode coming up. So make sure you stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram, Marlo Block, or Marlo Industries. And, um... Friend me on Facebook at Marlo Block, you know. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button, leave a comment, hit the bell so you can get a new video. Come to your phone when I make it. I'm out, man.